Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Crate Club, probably the best subscription box on the internet. This is the one for October 22. Let's check out what's inside. Alright folks, welcome back. Now if you hear me sounding a little off today, I've got a little bit of a cold, but the show must go on and I definitely wanted to bring this to you as soon as possible. This is the Crate Club. This is a subscription box, but it's a quarterly subscription box. So you're not going to be getting this every single month. You're going to be getting it once a quarter. And there are four levels to it. There's the Lieutenant, which is $49.99, the Captain, which is $99.99, the Major, which is $199.99, and the General, which is $399.99 or annually $1,399, so $1,400 yearly. Um, this one actually gets, you get decent gear in it, okay? Um, the price is up there, but this box is really good. I have yet to find anything in these boxes that I have not all kept for myself. This isn't stuff that you're going to be like, ah, I'll give this away to somebody, or maybe I'll sell this. Or, this is all good stuff, and some of it is surprisingly good, so... We'll get into it. Some of the stuff I have tested, and we'll show you how it works. We're going to open up the box and take a look on what's inside. All right, so the first thing in here that we're going to look at is the Tactica M020 Camping Tool. Now, this is a clever multi-tool, really useful, has a ton of interesting and different designs on the market, and they have some really cool multi-tools also as well as this one. But Tactica makes this one here. So we're going to open this up, and I'm going to show you what's inside. This is actually an extremely useful tool. Nice presentation box. So you got a bunch of different little tools on here as well as a ferro rod. Okay. You got a ferro rod right there. And screwdriver, flathead. Let's see what else is on here. So you have the ferro rod, you have the bottle opener on the top here, okay? You have an internal rope cutter on the inside, because it's very, very sharp. Okay. You have a uh, metric ruler on the side and a regular ruler. Okay. Flat screwdriver, can opener on the back. Tent peg puller, pry bar, inch ruler, rope tensioner, and sundial. Now, a lot of folks will see this and go, oh, nah, that's kind of, nah. this is actually very useful. Um, I have another one of these, and I've used it for a bunch of different things before. Um, and the nice part about it is it's small enough, you can just slip it in your pocket, and you don't even have to think about it. And that's your rope cutter right there. It's very sharp on that inside there, so be careful along the inside of that there. And it's definitely a neat little system. The ferro rod does work very well on my other one. Uh, so this is definitely going to be going into a different bag. Uh, maybe my go gear, my bug-up bag, whatever. A different bag so I can use it and have it around because it is very handy. And I do like the box as well. They do a nice little job in the presentation of that. And they show you all the different types of things you're going to be using this with. The nice part is you don't need a striker with this. This is actually the striker on the inside of this here. So that's the first thing. Let's move on to the second thing, which is the Pale Blue Home Conversion Kit. Sounds weird, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's check it out and see what's in here. Okay. This box is going to give me a headache today. This is the Pale Blue Kit. Now, what is it converting? It's converting all of your batteries to rechargeable batteries. There is no charger in this. I know. Don't worry. All the batteries are individually rechargeable. This is kind of cool, and I'm definitely going to be using these batteries up. Uh, this is what they look like. They're all little lithium ions. We're going to take one out here and show you. They are USB-C rechargeable on each battery. We have a couple of D's in here, a couple of 9 volts, double A's, and triple A's. Mostly heavy on the double A's and triple A's. Uh, there are a few D's. Not sure how to open this one. Let's see. There we go. So, this one opens like this on the side. Again, you got a D battery in here. It is rechargeable. So, they're definitely a neat little system. Um, I'm really, really liking these open and close on the top here, I believe. Yep, see? There's your charger right on top down and close it up. So I, get, I guess these would be very, very useful for uh, a good starter prepper battery pack. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff we buy, as far as batteries, will eventually run out, especially if you have not stored enough. So having something like this, where you got, let me show you the inside here, an unlimited amount of recharges, or, you know, a legitimately limited amount, but a whole lot more recharges, this equals to a very decent battery storage. Okay. Inside here as well, we're going to take all the batteries out. I'm going to show you what else comes in the pack. I'll get the batteries out here. Is a charger. Whoop, we'll get that in a sec. There's a charger here on the base. Now, this is the neat part. This charger has four prongs. 
So you can do four batteries at once off of one USB. So this can be done via solar, and I have two of them as well, and a USB-C on the end here. I had to get down and get that. So I have two of these here, four more here. So all of these batteries essentially can be charged up at the same time off of, say, a power station or a backup power source, or even if you get an adapter and just plug them in, definitely handy stuff. I am going to be using these uh, probably in my uh, motion detector light in my storeroom, as well as a few other areas around my house, and a few other things as well, because, hey, you know what? It saves money, and it's a smart idea. Put them all in there for you so you can see them. And I like the fact that you get a little bit of everything. You get one type of battery each. So, let me move this out of the way, and we'll bring you the next item. All right, so I had to move things around a little bit so you can see more of what's coming out of the box. The next up is something that I think is really cool, and yes, I did cheat and open it up and use it already. Um, you can see the box is empty. This is a cellular trail camera. It is on the Verizon network. Uh, right off the bat, people are going to think, oh, cellular, that's going to be expensive every month. It's 15 bucks a month for unlimited um, uploads of all your images. And that way, if your camera gets stolen, they're already up there, uploaded for you. It does have an app, and this was probably the easiest remote camera I have ever installed in my life. It was so simple. I put the batteries in, and this is another place where those pale blue batteries are going to come in handy. It takes eight, um, eight AA batteries, and I have it over here. I'm going to show you some of the pictures we took with it. This is it here. I'm trying not to point it at the camera so it doesn't flash the camera uh, with its uh, IR but I uh, have it over here, and it does have an antenna on it. You screw on the antenna. Very, very easy to use. Very simple. This is what the app looks like. Let me open that up for you. I am going to show you. Here's the app, okay? And I click on the things here. That's my legs there while I was walking out to get it for the video. I'm going to show you. Um, I'll show you all the pictures here. See? Oh, oh, there I am moving around. <laughs> so anyway, there's uh, pics from inside. There's some pics from outside. I'm going to roll in a couple pictures. Um, you, see, you can see, you can see cars go by. I have some pictures from early this morning, and it was interesting because it caught this person walking by, and they were walking the wrong way. I've got a lot of daytime pictures here. These are the two nighttime pictures we'll start seeing here, and you can see it's some guy in a hoodie walking my property line right in front, you know, where my rocks come up for the driveway, just walking by, kind of looking around, kept, kept walking. It doesn't do video, it just does pictures, but as you can tell, very neat little app. Let me roll in a few pictures of interest to show you. So pretty interesting. Already, my security cameras missed that guy, but this thing didn't. Now, if he'd gotten closer, my security cameras would have caught him, but this guy caught him all the way, and I just put it out on the bench. It's literally, it's literally sat out there all night on the bench overnight and just sat there. And you saw some cars go by in the dark as well. So it's a pretty decent camera. You do have a bunch of different resolutions on it. Um, you can go up from, uh, what is it, uh, 16 megapixels, 8 megapixels, or 4 megapixels. I have it up on 16. It is dedicated cloud storage. Uh, it's integrated animal recognition software in it. So it will kind of let you know what you got there. Now, there are data plans available. So you can manage your cellular plan from the app with all the add-ons. You set it up like this, literally, you take the battery, you open it up, you take the battery back off. There'll be a QR code there. You download the app, you scan it, the app will say, okay, let's set up. You'll scan the QR code and boom, you're connected. That easy. Really, really simple. Make sure that you have a card in here. You know, it does have a card in here. So it stores them on a card, an SD card, as well as cellular on the cloud. So uploads them on the cloud. You can manage this from anywhere. You could be in Europe somewhere watching your trail camera from wherever you're going to be. So definitely a cool thing. Now remember, it does need to be where there's cellular service because it is a cell phone essentially, or a cell data phone, and you do need cellular service. So that will limit what you can do if you're really, really remote. But all in all, pretty cool thing. Let's move on to the next item. All right, next up is the Cyclops, Cyclops 10 Watt Spotlight. This is a 10 Watt LED handheld spotlight. It is dual rechargeable on either AC or DC charger does have a 12 volt plug as well so you can charge this in your vehicle you have a dual source of illumination with an 850 high beam or a 280 low beam it'll save you some valuable lighting resources in a distress situation you can turn it down to low i am going to roll in some footage i played with this this morning i was up for some reason because i probably was because i wasn't feeling well i was up at like four this morning and i'm like oh perfect time to go out and demo the light 
But I will show you what it looks like before we roll in the demo footage. Real quick. I have opened all this stuff and played with it a little bit, so it, of course, will be better packed. You do have a plug here, and that will be the plug. It is a non-standard USB plug, but it is a very standard. You can find these plugs almost anywhere. 3.5 barrel connector. Here's the light. You do have a little kickstand there. Here's your on and, on and off switch, your high and low on this side here. Very, very simple to operate. You can't really tell the difference between the high and low at close range. This thing is a thrower. It really has a nice spotlight on it. Spots up, it lights up way, way far away. Here's your car charger. Okay. And, of course, instructions and all that. So it's definitely a cool little light. All right, let's roll in some footage and show you what it looks like in the dark. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. This thing is bright. Look at that. That way across the street there. There's a uh, phone box over there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's try it on the other setting. Because there seems to be two settings, but I can't really tell the difference. Okay, there's the second setting. That seems a little bit of a wider beam. But this thing is definitely super bright. So there's your beam pattern right there. And you can see that's very, very bright. All right, let's get back on the table. All right, next up, for you knife people out there, this is a nice-looking knife. It's from M3 Tactical Tech, okay? You guys have probably seen these before in battle boxes and stuff like that, Crate Club. Um, it's a very, very nice-looking It's more of a self-defense knife. I wouldn't think of this as a bushcraft or camp knife. It's definitely more of a self-defense knife. This thing came sharp out of the package. Let's open it up here. All right, give me a quick look at it. There you go. It is big enough where you can kind of get a good grip on it with your pinky through the hole there, so you won't lose it. Definitely a nice feeling knife. It does have the nice grips on it, nice scales on it. So you've got a G10 removable scale on the side, both sides. Overall length is 7.8 inches. Blade thickness, blade length, I'm sorry, is 3.3 inches. Steel thickness is 0.178. Overall thickness, 4.56, or dot 4.56. So just, uh, just under half an inch. All right, it is G10, and the blade steel is a CPM D2 steel. And this thing came crazy sharp out of the box. So again, it is more of a self-defense knife. It does have what they call a murdered out black kind of color on it. Full tang, fixed blade. Definitely a nice little knife. It's made for thrusting and slashing. Um, I would think more of a, a boot knife, you know, maybe something you'd keep stashed away. Maybe even a, a larger neck knife, you know, if you put in a little hanger from there, a dangler. It doesn't come with anything else but this, so this is it, really. And uh, it can slide in pretty much anywhere, even in a pocket. So in an extreme situation where this was all you had, I definitely wouldn't feel too uh, unarmed with something like that. So that is the Force Recon, the M3 Force Recon. Let's move to the last item. I'm going to get the box off the table there. And we'll move on to the last item. This is something I really needed and almost bought a few weeks ago. Don't need to now. Got it through Crate Club. Let's check it out. All right, so the last thing on this list is the Rightline Gear Hitch Dry Bag. Now, I have a trailer hitch for my Jeep, okay? This thing is extremely handy, especially when doing ham radio type stuff where you got to bring a little extra gear. If you're car camping, stuff like that. And it really just is a basket that hangs off out of the trailer hitch of your vehicle. Um, one of the things I've always kind of struggled with is how the heck am I going to keep everything contained on that thing? Because um, it's just a low kind of basket. And stuff would be piled up a lot higher than it. Well, here is what I've been looking at. And this is actually even the brand name I was looking at. The Right Line Trailer Hitch Dry Bags. Basically what you're going to be doing with these is filling these bags with your gear and plopping them on your trailer hitch. And it does come with straps to tie it down through this way. So it's definitely a handy little thing. The 17 cubic feet of storage in two of them. The dimensions are 30 inches wide by 20 inches uh, deep and 55 inches tall. You get two of them, all right? You're going to go side by side in most trailer hitch racks, standing up or laying down in most trailer uh, trailer beds, truck beds. They are lightweight power shield material. It's cut, it's cut and tear resistant, and it includes two of them, four straps, stuff sack, and a setup guide. So as you can tell, this is what it would look like on my vehicle, all right, on the back here. You have two of these, so you can stack one this way and one standing up. Definitely going to come in handy for me if I need to use that trailer hitch. Um, definitely something I was looking for. That's what I say about Crate Club. It always seems that you get everything that you would really use in Crate Club. So it definitely is a good deal. Now, this is the general box. This has everything in it, okay? So definitely you want to check out what your needs might be. 
Even their lower boxes, the lieutenants and the other ones, have some pretty useful gear in them. And being that it only comes quarterly, you're going to get a better quality of gear and stuff that you'll actually use. Um, one of the things, even with that spotlight, you know, it's not a super expensive spotlight, but you know the nice part about it is? It doesn't use one of those annoying, big, huge, heavy 6-volt batteries. It's all rechargeable. So you remember the days where you had to put those things in and then screw over the top with the two springs? That thing, you never have to mess with. You just recharge it when it gets low. So definitely going to be replacing the one that uses the 6-volt batteries. That's less batteries for me to store. And the batteries from Pale Blue, hey, I'm going to use the heck out of those things. I can tell you that right now. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will give you a link down below where you can check out Crate Club. It is a little more expensive than, say, your other boxes out there, but you are getting a better quality of gear. Even the knife is top-end there. It's not junk. So don't forget to check out their link, as well as all of our links. We have our Amazon affiliate store, freeze-dried wholesaler link. Now is the time to get stocked up on food, folks. What I'm seeing is coming down the road as far as supply chain issues and other things. You definitely want to get your food. And with my link, you save 15%. Also, too, if you have absolutely nothing and you want to get started, My Patriot Supply is a good place to go. That's preparewithiridium.com. It's my personal site where you're going to get $250, $250 off of a three-month kit. And below that, for more food preparation stuff, is our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. I've gotten a lot of new people on Thrive. And I'm glad to see people getting in and getting prepared. Um, as well as freeze-dried wholesalers. You guys are really doing good on that. And it's good because that's the whole point of my channel is to get people better prepared. And that's something we're all going to need is food. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.